the duck fat conspiratorial ideas. Now you ask yourself, why duck fat? In particular, why French duck fat? Why do we have to import French speaking ducks to get French duck fat? Maybe the Freyan ducks do not speak with enough plum in the mouth. Or maybe the accent is not quite right. But no, French speaking ducks have much richer and more odorous cholesterol fueled fat. Mm. The shopping centre is known to market French duck fat to cook your potatoes in. And we all know how old folks like their potatoes. Well, it all. It seems the government has been subsidising the supermarkets to do so. So why would they do that? <coughs> now the latest research from the government sources say, please, please, please do not smoke or drink large quantities of alcohol or eat fatty food if you're young, as you will be a huge burden on the health budget and therefore on the economy. But if you're older, then do not worry, just carry on as you are with your smoking, alcohol guzzling, cooking with your duck fat as well, while living the while living the high life to the full, make the most of every moment while it lasts. Well, with an aging population, we all know what a drag on the economy all farts are, and on the federal budget. It would appear the federal government has finally got a plan to reduce and even balance the budget. Keep pensioners living high on a high life so we can reduce the pension costs to the budget. Yes, let's pump them off with cholesterol-filled duck fat, alcohol and tobacco while charging a packet for the privilege. Yeah, well, it's not enough to have Australian ducks with their cholesterol-filled fat. Oh, no, no, that's not enough. We have to have French ducks waddling about with plums in their mouth and a funny accent. Oh, Christ. If that's not enough, we have to have French geese with their even higher cholesterol fat strutting about with a strange accent, a huge plum in the mouth, and this wow, wow. This will, this will, of course, really give the poor old farts an even more fatal heart attack and strokes. Now, in conclusion, I can only say, take one scheming plotting lawyer. Add one corporate leader, ample dose of scheming, plotting, lying and divorce behaviour. To that add one scheming, plotting, divorce behaviour, lying politician and you're guaranteed to have something that will blow right up in your face. Guaranteed to fix the budget by bumping off all the old farts for bloody sure. Oh hallelujah to that.